Oi, oi, right bags, it's Dre today taking a look at the next big little miniature competitor to Grounded and the upcoming Small Land. This is Infinitesimals. Try saying that 10 times quickly. If you find this information useful or like the look of the game, do leave a like and let's go. This is a game I have long, long been looking forward to. I swear I saw it about four years ago. It's actually been in development about seven years and it just revealed a teaser trailer today and it's going to be coming apparently soon. It looks phenomenal. You are going to be surviving, shooting bugs and robots as this tiny alien, but you'll also have access to a whole bunch of technology and air drop ships and more. So let me show you what Infinitesimals is and where it's been and hopefully you guys give me your opinion on whether or not you like it. I follow a bunch of different game devs on Twitter and I'm just really passionate about seeing what smaller and indie game studios can do. That's why I'm big friends with the Valheim crew and I love the fact that Grounded, although they're backed by a big team, they've got a relatively small team working on it. You just get something a little bit more honest and usually a lot more passion in making their games. And the same thing goes for Infinitesimal. There's about five developers working at the moment, all based all around Europe. And this was one of the first videos I saw. This amazing sort of dropship just battering through the sky like some mad kind of moth or dragonfly. Then got upscaled and we start to see more progress, the same shot of it but different camera angles and obviously filling in more of the environment which looked fantastic. And this is when I knew that I could maybe tie this into a few videos taking a look at how you can be small in different games and I've done them on my other channel a bunch of times I've highlighted this game as well as others but stuff like this really grabbed my attention that you are going to be surviving on what seemingly looks like maybe alien planets sometimes against normal looking bugs that you would come to expect but utilizing so much technology it's so much faster paced than grounded or the upcoming small land so, tiny little studio, I've been working on it for absolutely years, I've been following them for years as well, and just surprised to see it come out of nowhere today, that it's going to be available on the Epic Games Store in the very near future. I do obviously hope that means it's going to be hitting other platforms too, do not expect this to launch any time this year though. I'm guessing it will be on the Epic Games Store maybe until next year when it actually launches and then it have a period of exclusivity. So no console release I'm sure because that's usually the first question I get asked for a good couple of years yet. But I'm still very excited about this game. It offers something very different. I know I was only kind of half mucking around. My audience is very big on Grounded and I know a lot of them are excited about Small Land. Of course, they are great games, and I'm not really saying get rid of them and let's just play this, but it does offer something a bit different, and yeah, I'm totally down for a more faster-paced game set in a miniature small world. It's made by Qubit Studios, like I said, a very small team, and they've been showing their progress off for years now. The landscape now, though, looks absolutely fantastic. Just look how dense and wild the jungles or the forest looks with so many different kinds of resources. I don't think it is a survival game. I do think it's going to be more of an adventure shooter game, maybe with certain RPG elements or maybe even a roguelike. But the scale and fighting different robots and being able to climb all sorts of objects using technology like this weird spider walker machine, it's just like something I haven't seen before. And this shot particularly, I absolutely love just dashing around. So yeah, I think this was also one of the first shots I saw and I was really intrigued by it. I assumed a lot of this would just be cinematics, but it does look like it may be how you actually play the game to some extent too and some of the camera angles we can expect. So I'm going to keep digging, expect to see more previews of this when we get some big information and yeah, definitely look out for it eventually, whenever it actually releases on the Epic Games Store. I'm guessing it's going to be a full flesh game, but you never know, maybe it will end up being a sort of early access type too. It is a single player adventure game, so there is no multiplayer and co-op, which might upset a few people, I'm sure, because it does look fantastic, but I'm totally down for playing something like this. It just looks great, it looks different, really unique, and even these early gameplay shots and trailers you're seeing here really show such huge promise and just something I've not seen before. It looks like you may have control of different aliens as well because it says you'll be landing in your dropship as you lead a small band of little aliens around a huge planet. Being small has never looked so big, good or absolutely mind-blowing with the graphics. I think these are amazing. It's made in Unreal Engine of course and again I'm guessing they're going to be upgrading to Unreal Engine 5 or already making it in Unreal Engine 5. But the differences in the firing mechanisms, the way they're just moving around with these different objects and machines, it just looks incredible. And as I said, this is all the early, early footage that have been shown in development over the years. 
So let me know in the comment section, does this look like a game you could get behind? Are you intrigued or interested? Is not having any multiplayer component not for you and maybe not being a survival game? That's okay, but I'm definitely going to be covering it when it releases. So until next time, Rat Bags, any big information about this coming forward, like a release date, I'll be there. And yeah, just go and check them out on Twitter. I'll leave a link to their Twitter page and of course the Epic Store wishlist if you want to check it out as well. Until next time, bye-bye.